All right, Reggie Edwards, The Front Row Report. I am joined today by the one and only Jared from Flyleaf. Man, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me today. It's an exciting time for you guys. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. We got the new record, Between the Stars, coming out uh, Tuesday, September 16th, so next week, man. Um, really, how excited are you guys to get this record out to the public? It's, uh, it's, it's kind of like a, a complete new chapter for you guys. It, yeah, you said it. It's definitely a new chapter, and we're uh, we're excited to get some new music out for sure. Definitely, um, it's a it's it's a new chapter. It's a group of it's a it's a bunch of firsts for you guys. First record on Loud and Proud, first record with Kristen on vocals. Um, really, how how was the uh, how was the the creative process of this record for you guys? Um, it was definitely different writing for uh, Between the Stars than other records. I mean, obviously, because, you know, Kristen's and Dan, but, mm-hmm. you know, it, it was uh, just a long, growing process. Uh, you know, it was kind of like a, a blind date originally, you know. We, right. we, we were just kind of getting used to each other, didn't really know. And so uh, we did about four uh, songwriting sessions of anywhere from like a week to two weeks mm-hmm. throughout the year. Um, so we did, uh, you know, one time initially, uh, after she joined the band and then we did, um, we went on a, a short tour and then we, uh, after that tour, we did another kind of short writing session and, uh, we wrote that song, something better and, uh, used that whenever we toured with POD and then uh, we did two other ones after that. And, um, each time, you know, the songwriting just got better and better, like the chemistry was, we were kind of figuring each other out, you know, and, um, I mean, the process really didn't change, but, uh, uh, the way we write songs, it was just, you know, adding Kristen to it and see what she brought. Awesome. Um, go back to the previous record, New Horizons, I've, listening to the record, I, I feel like it was, it was kind of a different avenue, um, sonically and musically for you guys in some ways but listening to between the stars it, it sounds like you kind of go back to um back to the basics of what flyleaf was um a few years ago musically um and it's it's uh it's really cool to hear a lot of the um a lot of the heavier aspects to flyleaf on this record as well um what was the uh you know creatively like musically um, like for you guys writing this one, did you did you guys do anything different? Um, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I mean, not not really. Uh, I mean, we kind of everyone. They just kind of. I don't know. How these songs, that's how these songs turned out. Um, uh, you know, uh, sometimes like I'd have a guitar riff or uh she never come within like a like a finished song on acoustic and Kristen bring okay. and songs on piano. And uh, you know, those elements are still in there but then, you know, once everyone gets a hold of it and puts it apart down it turns into a flyleaf song. Awesome. Awesome. You guys have been playing a couple of the songs live from this record for uh, for quite some time now. Um, looking at some old, looking at some set lists from the previous months and stuff, um, you've been playing a couple of the songs, especially you know the single and whatnot live. Um, how has been? How was the how was the crowd reaction when we started playing some of these songs live for the first time? Uh, I think they were excited. Um, I know uh, set me on fire and sitting kids mm-hmm. really get really good responses. Um, in a live setting, so, uh, so yeah, it was, it was good to see that they like the new material. Okay, awesome. I, I know that when, when it comes to lineup changes, you know, a lot of bands, when, um, when, when the lineup is, a lot of the lineup changes will come before a record is released a lot of times, and so when you go in to, to write and, you know, create and record, having played together live for so long, really helps the creative process when it comes and really leads to a better product in the end. Do you feel like that was the case with Flyleaf? I mean, Kristen's been the man for about, what, a year and a half, two years now. And yeah. ju- just now coming out with the first uh, with the first record with her. Um, how, do you, how do you feel um, playing together really helped the cohesive, and lead to a more cohesive unit with the band? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it, you know, we, that's, I mean, that's something even before Chris and joined the band that we really like to do. We really like to, you know, road test songs mm-hmm. to, um, cause they, somehow they, 
they change a little bit. Your parts would kind of change with how you playing live, and that's what we always wanted to capture on a record is, you know, what it would be like live. Mm-hmm. And um, so I said, yeah, that was great to be able to, you know, do that. And uh, I think it was important, too, um, you know, for Christian to, since we are, you know, since we play a lot, and mm-hmm. uh, to get that emotion across of, you know, the live show. I think it was important for her to tour with us before we did make the record. Awesome. Um, now, we're, it's hard to believe that we're coming up on 10 years since the self-titled debut came out. Um, looking back on that time, looking at how the band's progressed over the years, how do you feel about where the band is now compared to 10 years ago? And I mean, what, what was that time like for you looking back on, you know, the last 10 years of Flyleaf? Um, I mean, yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, an awesome journey and, you know, I was, uh, I just turned 18 whenever the band, we got signed, so, like, I hadn't even graduated high school yet, and so I had to graduate early, and then we started going on the road, and so I, I mean, how my, my whole adult, meant my adulthood was in this band, and, uh, so, I, you know, learned, learned a lot of things, and, um, but it's been great. Awesome. Now, starting next month, you guys are going to be hitting the road again. You got a headline tour um, in October. Um, it's it's always for me. It's always it's always fun to see a band shortly after the album releases, especially when the record comes out during a tour, which isn't happening this time around, really. Uh, but um, yeah, have you started looking forward to this upcoming headlining run that you guys are going to be doing this fall? And have you started planning kind of what you're going to be doing? And anything fun or special planned for this tour? Uh, it's going to be a very busy tour. We have lots of uh, lots of radio visits, lots of press. Um, it, it's going to be busy. Uh, be really busy. Hmm. Uh, you know, I might try to. Uh, you know, I think I'll be off on my birthday, so I might try to sneak off and play golf that day or something. <laughs> you got to do something to get away from all of the just insanity that comes with the tour. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine how hard it, it would be to be doing, you know, to be on the road every single day. But that sounds like a great day to spend a day off from the, the craziness of a tour, just going out playing golf or just enjoying the outdoors with some silence and quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's a good. I just got into it a couple of years ago, and uh, I really I really like it. I'm a big kid. Nice. Um, any plans for uh, for? Uh, I know that the tour hasn't really even started yet, but any plans for what's going to be going on? Maybe late 2014 um, and into next year, or anything like? Any chance we could see you guys on some of the festivals coming up? Um. I, you know, I think we're definitely looking into that. Uh, nothing's confirmed yet, but mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I'm sure the year's going to be busy. Awesome, man. Um, well, man, the new album is absolutely amazing. It's everything I could have wanted in a Flyleaf record. I've been following you guys since the beginning. It's been really cool to see everything. The fans are going to love this album. Between the Stars comes out Tuesday, September 16th, Loud and Proud Records. Fans need to go out, pick it up, buy it, check it out. Anybody who's been a long time Flyleaf is going to love it. It turned out great, man. Um, thank you so much. Absolutely, man. And th- Jared, thank you so much for taking time today. Um, hopefully, I can catch you on this tour coming up. Um, it's got to yeah, happen. Yeah, for sure. So, um, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.